how to add a moving announcement bar in Shopify. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can add your very own announcement bar in your Shopify theme. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, there are a couple of ways to do this. You can either go ahead and use an application or you can go ahead and add the code. So you can go ahead and use the application or the code depends on you. I'm going to show you both methods. So first one is the easy method. We use the application and the application is essential announcement bar. This will allow you to add announcement bars into your Shopify theme. So we can go ahead and install it. As you can see there, it's completely free. You don't have to worry about it. There is no pricing plan whatsoever over here you can see you can add banners banner types are going to be announcement bar cookie consent notification product page and all of that right you've got customization options such as sticky display link buttons background color fonts and all of that so you can go ahead and install this application and you know add customizations into your shopify store easily without having to add any code whatsoever but if you don't want to add any application or stuff like that and you want to add code you want to make it custom i will show you that later on in the video so first let me just install this application and showcase some of its functionality to you so once it's installed over here you will see this is how it will look like over here you can see you have some different options right here this is where you'll manage your announcement right and you can create a new announcement by just simply clicking on this create new announcement button and you can choose the announcement type all right top bottom bar over here fixed or sticky bar at the top or bottom card page or essential countdown timer if you want to add like a specific sale you know there's a specific sale going on into your page you can use all of them as well for that of course you have to go ahead and view the application so let's go ahead and select this type of announcement bar we want this top one and this will be a simple announcement bar running line announcement bar or multiple rotating announcements so it depends on you so if we go with this one this will go with this one pretty simple you know moving announcement bar right here if you want multiple rotations this will have like this one and then you can go ahead and click on this little button to have more announcements over here so pretty cool depends on what you want but for now we're going to go with this one and here you can go ahead and change the announcement type here you can add the title of what it is that you want to announce and here you can add the animation speed so if you want you can go with a faster animation speed slower animation speed depends on you so we're going to keep it at 25 for now i think that looks pretty cool but it is a little bit slower so we're going to go ahead and increase the size to maybe 37 enjoy 20 percent off discount i think that looks good here you can add the call to action button whether you want to you know get a button make the entire bar clickable if you want you can people can just click on the bar and boom there you go if you want you can add like a button over here as well or if all items are 20 percent off then you don't need any button or you know make the entire bar clickable you just keep it no call to action that way people will know all products are on discount so it doesn't really matter where you click you can just go ahead and buy any one you want and you can go ahead and close the icon as well you can have an option whether you want your customers to have the option to close the icon or not so pretty cool you can add translations as well which is really really good this is one of the benefits of having an application you know you won't have to worry about codes or anything like that which is pretty cool so once it's done uh, the next step is the design option you click on design and here you can add positioning top page or bottom page depends on you i think top page looks good if you want it sticky then even if you scroll down the bar will stick at the top so depends on you if you want to you know make it sticky bar or not then you have template whether you want it custom or not if you select dawn then this is going to be the dawn theme since we are going to be using dawn theme so you can go ahead and select that if you want custom you can go ahead and select a custom and over here you can set different colors as well so add a gradient effect to it if you want and we have gray and white so we can go with gray or black it depends on you i think we'll go with a little bit of pink color right here and then we'll go with something blue i think that looks much better you know there we go so something like that if you want which is also pretty cool you can go ahead and do that then we have corner radius if you want you can increase the corners but i think this one looks good no corners whatsoever edge to edge add box size so you can increase the size of the box as well and border as well over here typography you can change different fonts you can add the title change the title color button color if you have that icon color as well 
So you've got a bunch of different options as well. So I also want to go ahead and click on sticky just, you know, so that we can see whether or not it works. And then once that's done, you have the final option to placement. So if you want, you can paste it on every page, home page only, all product page, all product page in specific collections. Depends on you. If you want to have a specific product page over here, you know, custom position, all of that. And once that's done, all that's left for you to do is click on the publish button. And then just simply click on the publish button, give it a couple of seconds. And there you go. Here you go forgot to activate it so let me go ahead and click on activate and it should be activated in the theme section over here so there we go it is now activated we are good to go and we have the bar right there so let me go ahead and click on save and then we'll just save it and you know click on preview to go ahead and view our theme so right now we've saved it let's go ahead and reload our page and see how it looks like and over here as you can see we have our announcement bar and it looks pretty cool now this was the easy way you just download the app the hard way is, you know, you have to do a little bit of coding. So let me just go ahead and turn this off. We'll just turn it off for now and click on save. Come back over here, reload the page and see how it looks like. There we go. It's not gone. Now what we need to do is we need to come back over here onto our dashboard, go into the online store themes, and here we need to edit the code. So click on the three bar and click on edit code. And here is the editor the code editor here what you need to do is in the filter files you need to search for the announcement bar so just search for announcement or type announcement and you will find the announcement bar dot liquid right here so click on it and what you need to do is you need to add this piece of code right here now i will have this code pasted in the comment section or in the description so don't worry about that you will find it over there just copy it come over here and when you click on announcement, uh, this code is going to appear. What you need to do is scroll to the bottom, actually not to the bottom. You just need to hit the control plus F button or command F. This will open up the search bar. And here you're just simply going to go ahead and search for the H5 button, which is going to be over here. So H5, there we go. It's right here. What you need to do is just before this line, you know, announcement bar message, you need to go ahead and paste that code here now you can see some of these lines are you know underlined meaning they're in conflict with each other so to fix that what you need to do is you need to just copy the bottom code first you need to just copy the first line and paste it over there and then you need to copy the bottom line which is going to be the marquee over here don't copy paste all of them at once first the first line just that paste it right here before the class announcement bar text and then the second or the last part you're going to want to paste right here at the p right when the code is closed just paste it over here and you will see the bars are gone the conflict is gone and now all we have to do is just hit the save button and now over here we are just simply going to go ahead and click on the preview store and open it up and you'll find the bar right here so as you can see here we go but it's moving a little bit too fast so let's go ahead and fix that so to do that, all we're going to do is we're going to change the scroll amount. You can see right here, scroll over here, behavior, scroll direction. You can even change the direction. You can type right and it'll move from left to right. So currently it's moving to the left side. You can type in right and it'll move to the right side. And in the scroll amount, we'll just add 10 and that should be it. Then you click on save and now we'll just reload the page and now it'll move a little bit slower. As you can see, it's now moved slower. Also, it's quite small so what you can do is you can also change the size of it for that we have another code right here here you can change the size you can change the the padding of the bar as well and the height so we'll just copy this code right just select all of that and go back to the editor and here what you want to do is go into theme.liquid right here and you want to make some changes in this section and here you're going to create a new line so we're going to create a new line right here underneath head we're going to hit enter create a new line and we're going to paste the entire code we're going to paste the code there we go we just resize it and then we'll hit save and now if we go ahead and preview it give it a couple of seconds to save we can see this was the previous size like that now let's go ahead and open it up in another tab and we will find it right here so now you can see the bar is much smaller and we can see the text is a little bit different as well and if you want to make changes, you can see right here in the comparison, this is the before 
and this is the after right here and if you want you can go ahead and change the size so here we have the font size so 14 px you can increase it to 15 20 px and here is the padding as well so pretty simple this is how you do it this is how you can add a moving announcement bar into your shopify store so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye